Hello viewers, my name is Dr. Ram Mohan Shripad Bhatt. I'm a consultant nephrologist at Narayan Hridayalaya, Bangalore. Today I have with me Dr. Neelam, who is one of my colleagues in the Department of Nephrology at Narayan Hridayalaya. We are having a special session today on the occasion of World Kidney Day 2022. The second Thursday of every March is celebrated as World Kidney Day world over. This has been an initiative from International Society of Nephrology since 2006. Our aim is to increase the awareness of kidney diseases in the world. We all get afraid when people are told to have heart disease, cancer, stroke, etc. And very little importance is given to kidney disease. In fact, people, when they end up on dialysis, they've got worse prognosis than most cancers, which we fail to recognize. And these are things which are preventable. Kidney diseases are preventable 99% of the times. And even if we diagnose, di diagnose it after it is uh, uh, it occurs, we can prevent progression and limit the damage. We thought about what topics you might be interested to listen to with regards to kidney disease on this uh, uh, World Kidney Day. And we thought of the three major health scares that, that is bothering the present generation, which is diabetes, hypertension and obesity, all of them lead to kidney failure eventually over a period of time. So we thought we will talk about obesity, which is least talked uh, usually uh, in respect to kidney diseases. So Dr. Neelam did put together some questions that she may want to ask me with regards to obesity and kidney disease. Off you go, Neelam. Uh, my interest to know, sir, how do you define the obesity? Mm. Uh, is it a risk factor for the kidney disease or uh, something else? Yeah. So obesity is is uh, something, it's, it's a measurement based on uh, our uh, weight and height. So everybody, uh, it's a based on the, the weight divided by square of the height. If we do, that gives the calculation, a numerical calculation, which we call as BMI, body mass index. Ideally, our body mass index should be between 18 and 25. 25. If it is more than 25, but less than 30, so 25 to 29.9, we call it as overweight. If it is more than 25, then it is called obesity. Obesity has been a known risk factor for cardiovascular disease, that is heart attacks and strokes. It is also actually a risk factor for cancer. People who are obese have a higher risk of cancer as compared to people who are not obese. And obesity leads to diabetes and hypertension. <clears throat> what people do not recognize or they might not be aware of is obesity is a direct risk factor for kidney disease as well. That is what I would like to discuss today, um, uh, you know, subsequently. So, uh, how many percentage of population in India is having obesity, sir? That is very scary. So, as of 2019 WHO data, we rank number three in the world, next only to USA and China in terms of obesity. If you include overweight and obese people, up to 40% of Indians are having obesity. So maybe if you just include the obese people, it might be around 20%. But even the overweight people are at risk of diabetes and hypertension and kidney disease. So if you include all of them, 40% of Indian population, be it in the urban areas or rural areas, they've got obesity. So if you look at the US population versus Indian population, we are 1.3 billion. Yeah. So in terms of numbers, we probably, you know, uh, yeah, we, we, you know, outsmart them in terms of numbers. If, you, if it's 40 percent yeah and if if 40 percent of our population has got obesity now 20 years down the line or 15 years down the line these are all going to have kidney problems so we're going to have an epidemic of kidney disease in the next one or two decades because of obesity yeah so how how this is related with the kidney disease sir? is it directly related or indirectly something causing the kidney problem in the like Most of it is indirect in the sense that obesity is associated very closely with diabetes and blood pressure. 
80% of people with type 2 diabetes. So in diabetes, you've got this type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is because of autoimmune reasons. Very small percentage will have type 1. Most people have type 2. And 80% of them, the diabetes goes away if they lose their weight. Or it is it can be controlled very well with very little medicines if they lose their weight. So it is directly related to weight, the diabetes. And this diabetes, if these people do not control diabetes, they, it will lead to kidney damage eventually. Just one you know, uh, uh, figure that I wanted to give. All of us lose kidney function uh, you know, with age. That is an aging process. After the age of 35, 40, all of us lose kidney function. Those who don't have diabetes, hypertension, obesity might lose kidney function at the rate, rate of 1% per year. Those who have got diabetes, even if it is controlled, they have got slightly higher loss of kidney function every year. It might be 1.5 or even 2% per year. However, if they don't control their diabetes, it is extremely high. It can be up to 5% per year. So somebody who's had diabetes for 10 years can easily end up being on dialysis within 10 years if they don't control their di diabetes very well. Hypertension is also very closely related to diabetes. So people who've got obesity are at extremely high risk of having hypertension. And the moment they lose weight, blood pressure comes down. And many times we see that we can take them off all medicines or at least reduce the number of medicines. Yeah. Controlling blood pressure is extremely important because without control, people are at risk of heart attacks, strokes and kidney failure as well. So these three things go hand in hand. So most of the effects is through the blood pressure and diabetes, but there are some direct effects as well. <coughs> Being obese creates certain changes in the filters of the kidney. As many people might know, we have got two kidneys and each kidney has got about 10 lakh tiny filters called glomeruli. They're very microscopic, tiny. And they filter the blood and produce the urine. These filters can come under stress when somebody is obese for various reasons and can have certain changes within them which make them leaky. So they can leak protein. So even that if that person doesn't have diabetes and blood pressure, they can have protein leak in the urine, which itself can then damage the kidney. Damage the kidney. People who've got high BMI, people who are obese, are at high risk of forming kidney stones. They're also at higher risk of having recurrent urinary tract infections. And these can independently cause kidney damage as well. So yes, most of it is indirect through diabetes and blood pressure, but significant proportion can have direct injury as well. So uh, if patient is like, uh, does losing weight uh, will help in prevention of the kidney problems? Of course, no doubt in that at all. So as I said, by losing weight, they can control their diabetes and blood pressure, if not get cured from them. Yeah. If somebody you know, is, is diagnosed with diabetes just recently and is quite overweight, by losing weight, they can just come off the medicines. But if somebody is overweight and has been diabetic for a long time, extremely poorly controlled, by reducing weight, they can have controlled diabetes, they can you know, reduce their medications, which in turn has got a positive impact on the kidney. So that will protect the kidneys, not only the kidneys, the heart, the brain, everything, and then prevent them from developing kidney failure. And sir, most of the patients come in the clinic, they ask about, is there any medication to treat the obesity? Yes, there are. There are certain medicines uh, uh, which are quite new, which help in control of diabetes and reduce weight as well. But these might contribute to maybe about 5% weight loss. So if somebody is 100 kilos, uh, uh, and you know it might reduce the weight from 100 to 95 kilos that's about it not more than that you might be wanting to ask about surgery so just in the passing yes surgery might help but that should not be the first resort that should be the last resort there are various types of surgeries this is not the forum for for us to discuss that but they all come with issues around malabsorption that we should be aware of so we should strive to lose weight by diet and exercise always. So I would be, I would be grateful if you tell us some tips uh, to prevent the obesity, sir. I, I like the, the way you put it. Prevention is always better than cure, yes, isn't it? Yes. So if, if uh, people like me and you are able to prevent getting uh, obese, 
that will be better than getting obese and then trying to correct. So, but then these, these, the diets, you know, it, it should hold good for people to prevent and also to, you know, lose weight as well. So, we all eat a, a combination of carbohydrates, proteins and fats apart from the micronutrients. So, of, the, these, of these three, we, people believe, people feel that if I cut down on the fat, if I cut down on the ghee or the oil, you know, I should not be getting overweight, but that's false. It's the carbohydrates that we have to watch. We, we eat far too much carbohydrates, which has to be converted to something else in the body once it gets absorbed. And that is converted to fat. So we have to cut down on the carbohydrates. So what we have to do is rather than depending on cereals like rice, wheat or jowar as the main portion of the meal, we have to use salads and fruits as the main portion of the meal. So rather than eating uh, fruits at the end, maybe eat the fruit in the beginning for those who are not diabetic. Um, you know, this is not for diabetics. And then have a bowl of salad. Have half the portion should be salad, fresh vegetables. And then, you know, it will it, fill your stomach. So then you will end up eating a little bit of carbohydrates only. And then you should also make sure that you've got enough amount of protein in the, in the diet. Yeah, so you don't get malnourished. So it is the carbohydrates that we have to watch in order to prevent obesity or come out of it. Thanks a lot, sir, for the uh, delivering us your beautiful knowledge. and. Thank solutions. you very much. So just to recap, obesity is one of the most important uh, uh, epidemics of the current population, in, you know, all, along with diabetes and blood pressure. It has got direct and indirect impact on your kidneys. So please lose weight so as to protect your kidneys. Thank you very much.